Hey everyone, it's your Vancouver Real Estate Update for the month of September. Uh, firstly, I want to touch upon the Bank of Canada rate announcement last week. Uh, obviously, they paused the rate, so great news for anyone on a variable rate mortgage. The payment won't be going up for you. And uh, good news, I am hearing rumblings that in early 2024, there's major economists across Canada all pointing to rate cuts coming. So if you are on a five-year fixed rate and you're hoping that the rates will come down next year when you go to renew your mortgage, uh, you might be in luck by the middle of next year to see rates uh, down around 5%. We're at 6.5% at major banks right now. Um, some you can get around 6.1, 6.2, but predominantly around 6.3 to 6.6%. So rates are super high right now, and I expect these to stay high until January, February. So it's going to be a very slow uh, next four months in the Vancouver real estate market. And even last fall, it was very slow. Uh, not many sales going on, and that's when interest rates were around 5%. So uh, this fall is going to be very quiet, but surprisingly, uh, in the last few weeks, I have seen a demographic or uh, segment of the real estate area that has seen a lot of interest, and that's luxury properties over $1 million. I've uh, personally been in, uh, in some of these uh, recent transactions or almost transactions. I lost both of them in the last few weeks here, but I'm going to touch upon what's going on. And uh, it's going to kind of indicate what's going to happen in the stats, uh, what I'm going to release in a few minutes here. So I don't want to touch upon um, what's doing well. So duplexes in East Vancouver are doing very well, 1.6, 1.7, $1.8 million. Brand new duplexes, 13 to 1,500 square feet. Um, those are selling well. But uh, a lot of properties under $1 million dollars are not selling well like they used to be uh, earlier in the year. But we are seeing segments such as uh, homes in the Vancouver West Side and West Vancouver has seen a lot of interest. And even out in Surrey, if there's homes uh, that are a good deal priced under assessment value, they are being snapped up um, 1.5 to 2.5 million. So uh, let's talk about one uh, example. Uh, this is at 5860 Falcon Road in West Vancouver. This is out by Eagle Harbor. Five bedroom, four bath built in 1983. Assessment value at $4 million. Uh, Huge property, ocean view. It needs full renovation though, and so they're asking 2.6 million. My client came in, we offered 2.2, and suddenly it was on the market for three months. So we thought, let's try it 2.2, and then the next day, after three months on the market, someone else came in and offered higher than us, and uh, it came to a little multiple offer bidding war where we had to come up a couple times. In the end, we lost by 40000 unfortunately. The winning bid was $2.46 million. We came in at 2.420, and uh, awesome steal here, priced 35% below assessment value. So if you can, there are properties like this that you can find. A lot of people are going to be going for it. Also, uh, a few days ago out in Cloverdale, there was a house Assessment value 1.6 million, uh, 16851 57B Street, uh, 7,600 7, square foot lot. So this is a good price, uh, asking 1.5 million, and uh, we all, we came in and offered 1.475, and the winning bid was 1.475 as well. However, they came in a day before us, so we were a backup offer, and unfortunately, they removed subjects, so my buyer didn't win. So a couple um, losses in the last few weeks here. I wasn't predicting these luxury sales to be happening um, in the last uh, month, but they are. And that's uh, what I'm foreseeing in the next uh, couple months here. A lot of uh, homes selling under assessment value and there are there are good deals coming. And uh, so a majority, as we're gonna go into the stats here shortly, you're gonna see most increases are very low now. They're like one, 2%, they're not very high. And that's gonna be the, the outcome in the next three or four months. So it's a great opportunity if you are a cash buyer, if you don't need much of a mortgage, to, to snap up these uh, detached house properties where people just can't afford that these high interest rates anymore and people are waiting for these interest rates to come down which is foreseen for uh, next year, uh, possibly the first quarter in 2024. Um, overall there was 2,296 home sales in August which was a 21% increase over August of 2022. The total homes listed on the MLS right now was close to 10,000 which is 13% below the 10 year average. So. Uh, there is being lower than normal inventory, and that has kept up these prices. But uh, I expect um, these prices to decline in all segments come uh, October, November, December this year, as we are st starting to see sales slow. Sales to active ratio came down a little more for detached. It was at 16% in July. We're down to 14% now, so a very balanced market there. 
still technically a seller's market for townhomes across the Greater Vancouver Real Estate Board at 30% and 32% for condos. Uh, detached homes were only up 0.3% year over year from this August compared to last August. Townhomes are up 3.9% and condos lead the charge at 4.4%. And then uh, the highest increases were, not surprisingly, the luxury segment. Vancouver West at 1.8% increase. These homes are 3 to 5, $3.5, $4 million. So seeing a 1.8% increase in the month of August is amazing. It shows that there's a lot of cash swashing, swashing around um, trying to get deals and uh, it's happening. And uh, Vancouver East, 0.9% increase and West Vancouver, 1%. I don't usually touch upon these segments of the Vancouver Real Estate Board very often, but at the slowest time of the year, we're seeing these people buy up these homes. So there's savvy investors circling these uh, detached properties right now. But however, over the last six months, the best, the highest increases that we have seen, uh, number one is Ladner, BC, coming in at 17% increase over the last six months since the spring and Twas and right behind at 16%. So we've seen a huge amount of people moving to Twas and Lander over the last six months for detached homes. It's very hard to find a house under 1.5 million in Twas and, and uh, 1.4 million in Lander. And then up on the Sunshine Coast, as I've touched upon upon most videos, more increases there, 2.9% increase for the month of August, Port Moody at 2.8% increase and Burnaby is 2.3%. And then circling over to condo increases, we saw Maple Ridge condos up 2.9%, Whistler up 2.5%, which is 12% increase over the last six months. So condos are very strong in the Sea to Sky Corridor, and Squamish is up 2.1% for the month of August. So if you own a house in Tawasson Ladner or a condo in the Sea to Sky region, you're doing very well. And also, you can't be sad about uh, these increases in the Vancouver West area, Shaughnessy, Kitsilano, Dunbar, Main Street, Fraser. These are all um, areas that I haven't touched upon recently, but they are seeing increases due to the low inventory. A lot of people aren't selling. They're hoping uh, to, to see uh, the market crash a bit, and it's not quite yet. We might. I'm, I'm predicting we're going to see a 10% drop for detached homes and about 5% for condos. Maybe maybe 15 to 30% if you're up in the luxury segment, uh, about 2 to $4 million. As I touched upon that one house, uh, the buyer got 35% off the $4 million assessment value. So there are good deals out there, and uh, buyers are circling. And I surprisingly was in the – well, if you count up the last three deals I've been working on, um, which is one a few weeks ago I did in Victoria, I won that multiple offer. The last three deals have all been in multiple offer situations. So it shows you that there's low inventory. There's not enough supply for the amount of buyers that are out there. There's not too many, but they are savvy, and they know rates will come down eventually starting next year. And when rates come down, everyone knows that prices will go up again. So most of you probably won't start buying until next April, May, when people see the rate cuts coming down and uh, prices start going up again. So, But as I said last year, no one bought in the fall. And what, what happened in January and February? House prices started going up very quickly. And uh, everyone started coming in this spring. And everyone wishes they bought in the fall of 2022. So I foresee this happening again of this year. Uh, mind you, it's going to be a little harder to get approved for mortgage with rates at 6.5 instead of 5%, 4.8, etc. So, um, yeah, there's going to the more positivity and optimism we see by economists coming out in the next four months regarding GDP figures, as obviously the Canadian real estate Canadian economy is cooling, which is why Tiff Macklin and the Bank of Canada paused the interest rate. There's going to be more fuel for the fire for the Bank of Canada or the Canada five -year, Canada uh, five year bond yields to start lowering uh, with the possibility of the Bank of Canada lowering or rate cutting rates in 2024. So fixed rates might start coming down. We might see rates even crop creep back into the mid fives by November, December, which might lead a late uh, season push for real estate sales. But um, between now and early November, it's going to be very quiet. October is going to look prime. But if we see fixed rates start coming down by November, December, we might see a late season push um, as people will get excited seeing that prices might be going up if they know that rates are going to be cut in 2024, which is what the BMO economists are saying um, right now. 200 basis points, actually, which would bring the overnight rate down from 5 to 3%. So obviously, if that happens, we're going to go from about 6.5 down to 4.5%. And with 4.5% interest rates, 
we saw a very healthy spring market this year. And obviously since April, May, rates have come up 2% from 4.5 to 6.5%. And not many people are buying right now. Um, but as, if, as predicted, the Bank of Canada reduces and cuts the rates next year, we could see a surge coming into next spring. And even possibly before Christmas, if the fixed rates start coming down with the opportunity, optimism, that they will uh, come down eventually next year. So there's going to be a lot of people on the sidelines waiting to see this happen. Um, but by usually by that time, it's too late. So savvy investors are already circling. Pr the proof is in the pudding. Post prices at 1.8% in Vancouver West for the month of August. But a majority of the other areas are down uh, sub suburban areas. And so people usually, the trend usually starts in Vancouver. And that's what happened last year in January, February. The first people buying up houses um, in the market were uh, in Vancouver West, and that's where the multiple offers started, and then these uh, went out to the suburbs, and that's possible will happen again this fall, where most people that have money know that it's going to get um, easier to get a, a mortgage next year with rates coming down, and uh, we will see prices to continue to climb, but sellers don't want to put their house in the market when... Uh, they see prices declining, which they will be for the next three or four months. So it's a great time to negotiate and offer. Try to um, get something off. For example, if house is asking three million, go offer two point five. Or if it's asking two million, go offer one point eight million. You might get lucky, especially later in the fall. After a lot of people are all optimistic when they first um, come to market in September. There's a lot of uh, divorces and deaths in the summer, and people wait till September to list the house. And all these, a lot of these homes expectations will be too high starting out. So wait until the end of October, early November. It's going to be a great time to pounce on amazing deals. That's what I saw uh, last year. Uh, I actually saw amazing deals out in Tawasson Ladder, homes that were selling for 1.5, 1.6 um, in the in 2021. We're selling for around 1.1, 1.2 in November of 2022 last year. So. House prices have definitely crept up in Tawas into about 1.5 million, but you might be able to get down to about 1.3 uh, with some dis distressed sellers uh, that just need to get rid of their house. So keep an eye out for Tawas and Lander, um prices because they've come up so much, there might be retraction this fall. Also out in Maple Ridge, Langley, um, the deals might be happening um, in a couple months. But right now, we're kind of in a... A tug of war where buyers aren't quite ready to pounce and buyers or sellers aren't ready to give up yet but there will be a threshold by november december when the, we get into the dark winter months people do give up and uh, that's the time to to put uh, to go in i think november early december is the best time of the year my personal opinion to uh to buy because by the time we get to january people have taken their house off the market and they've talked about it with their families and their inventory gets reduced and as we saw what happened last january february and in the last couple of years not enough inventory leads to multiple offers. So there's going to be a fine line window of between now and early December where it's a good time to negotiate if you have the buying power and your mortgage is approved. But um, that's uh, all I have to say for today. But optimistic rate cuts coming next year. Uh, Bank of Canada has paused the rate. So if you're on a variable, you're not going to see any more rates going up. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section down below. Subscribe if you haven't done already. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks and have a great day.